Deep beneath Antarctica's seemingly endless ice lies a hidden world, vast subglacial lakes untouched for millions of years. In this video, we explore the secrets locked beneath the frozen continent. From Lake Vostok's isolated ecosystem to the scientific breakthroughs beneath the ice, join us as we uncover the truth behind Antarctica's hidden lakes and the mysteries they may still hold. The surface of Antarctica is a white abyss, the coldest, driest, and most remote continent on the planet. It's a place where nothing seems to move. But in the 1990s, scientists discovered something that shattered that stillness, a vast network of lakes and rivers flowing silently beneath the ice sheet. These are subglacial lakes, entire bodies of water trapped beneath two to four kilometers of solid ice. They exist in complete darkness, kept liquid not by sunlight, but by heat rising from the Earth's core and the immense pressure of the ice above. The most famous of these is Lake Vostok, buried beneath four kilometers of ice and stretching more than 250 kilometers in length. It's one of the largest freshwater lakes on Earth. And yet, until recently, no one had ever touched it. It may have been isolated for over 15 million years, a time capsule from a forgotten world. The first signs of these hidden lakes came from satellite radar, which detected unusual patterns in the ice, smooth, flat areas that hinted at liquid water below. As researchers dug deeper, they realized Antarctica wasn't a static block of ice. It was alive with movement below the surface. Liquid water was flowing. Entire underground ecosystems might exist, untouched, unseen, and utterly alien. In 1998, Russian scientists at Vostok Station began drilling toward the buried lake. Their mission? To pierce the ice and bring up a sample from the hidden waters below. But just 120 meters from the lake's surface, they stopped. The risk of contamination was too great. If life existed inside, it could be destroyed by the very act of discovery. Years later, in 2012, after switching to cleaner drilling techniques, they reached the lake. When the sample was analyzed, scientists found something extraordinary. Traces of DNA, life. Some argued it was contamination. Others believed it might be something entirely new, an organism that had evolved in total isolation cut off from the outside world for over 15 million years. If that's true, it changes everything. Life in such extreme, dark, high pressure conditions would be unlike anything we've seen on the surface. It would be extremophilic, thriving without oxygen, without light, in a world of eternal cold. The implications go far beyond Earth. Beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon Europa, or Saturn's moon Enceladus, scientists believe similar conditions may exist. Oceans sealed under thick ice, warmed by internal heat. If life can exist in Lake Vostok, it might exist there too. Antarctica could be our best model for alien ecosystems, a frozen laboratory showing us what life could look like elsewhere in the solar system. But these lakes aren't just isolated pools. In 2007, Satellite data revealed that water was actually moving beneath the ice, traveling from one lake to another through hidden channels. In one case, a surge of water traveled over 260 kilometers in less than two years. That means Antarctica has an entire subglacial drainage system, like veins beneath a giant body of ice. This discovery has enormous implications. As climate change accelerates, Melting ice could interact with these hidden systems in unpredictable ways, speeding up the collapse of glaciers or unleashing ancient water and pressure beneath the surface. What we don't know about these lakes could pose a risk to the stability of the ice sheet and, in turn, global sea levels. Then there's the ethical question. Should we even be exploring these places? 
Every probe we send down, every sample we extract, risks contamination. These lakes may be the only untouched ecosystems left on the planet, isolated since the dawn of mammals. What right do we have to disturb them? Some scientists argue we must explore, that the knowledge gained could be too important to ignore. Others warn that our curiosity could destroy something irreplaceable, something we can never put back. Antarctica's hidden lakes are more than scientific wonders. They're sealed vaults from Earth's deep past. They hold ancient water, ancient life, and perhaps ancient answers about our planet, our origins, and our place in the universe. And as our drills inch closer, one question remains. What happens when we finally break the ice?